up and down the coast, from the beaches to the valleys. At 6.30, this is KEYT News Channel 3, where the news comes first. We've got the wine in the bottle and we're ready to take it to the show. Better way to celebrate the most coveted films of the year at the Santa Barbara International Film Festival than enjoying some of the local wine to go along with it. Welcome back, everybody. I'm C.J. Ward. And I'm Paula Lopez. A local winery is getting special honors at the Santa Barbara International Film Festival. News Channel 3 reporter Victoria Sanchez found out which local grapes will be served up at the star-studded events. The film festival takes place in Santa Barbara, but with a quick trip to San Inez, you end up at Sunstone Winery, which is being featured at this year's event in more ways than one. Sunstone is tucked away in the San Inez Valley, overlooking the Los Padres National Forest. Started it from ground up, and it was, uh, the vines were planted in 1990. It's known for its bold reds and buttery Chardonnay, and now it's getting some serious recognition. To have uh, an international film festival feature my family's winery uh, is just huge for us, and we're really excited about it. The festival asked for a wine to be made specifically for the event, and the labels are hot off the presses. To tie in with the cinema and the festival, uh, we chose this amazing image of the, one of the first cameras produced by the Lumiere brothers. And it's not just the wine taking center stage. 29th poster of the Santa Barbara Film Festival. It's also the vines. This is the scene here that was the background shot for the poster for the Santa Barbara International Film Festival. The bottles are expected to go fast, especially since only one barrel of each was made for the festival. It's an honor to be able to bring our grapes that we farm ourselves, put it in a bottle and bring it to an international crowd. If you'd like to try some of Sunstone's special red and white wines, you'll only get it at the film festival starting Thursday night. In San Inez, Victoria Sanchez, News Channel 3. And theaters.